And we're back like we never left. Hey, Vicky, Vicky. What's up, good people, AKA winners? That's what we do, hey, hey, that's what we do. Uh-uh, 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 I changed it. What? Wait, Vicky, remix, hey, hey. Ay, I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Thicky, thicky. <laughs> I just, I just be having fun. So what we're gonna do first is let me grab these primers because I should have been ready already. Oh snap! I just got through doing. Ooh, see? Ooh, I should put that in the other video. That's the CoverGirl video, and I did this look with all CoverGirl product. Well, not all CoverGirl products, but some. And this is the shadow that I had on that's still on my hand. And look at that. That's the only, I guess, downfall to that, because I see it falling on my face. But anyway, if you want to see that video, just go ahead and subscribe. I'm not sure which one is going first, okay? This video is an update on the Juvia's Place foundation, as well as, um, you know, a first impression on this concealer. And I only think it's right that since I didn't do a corrector in the last video, that I not do one now, right? Cause it's kind of like a continuation of the last video. But what I am gonna do is prime this face of mine. And I really should be using a pore filling primer because we already know that this foundation tends to accentuate my pores just a little bit, okay? It's like, you know, and I don't think it's solely the foundation's fault. I just think that I just need to, you know, stay consistent with my skincare. You guys know I wrote a book, right? And so um, literally that's what I was doing every single week to my skin. It is called Crystal Clear on Amazon. And um, I haven't done my mask in probably like a month. And you know, that's not good because it does help with your pores. So I'm gonna use this Veil Cosmetics uh, Primerizer or Sun Veil Primer or something. I can't remember the name. It is Sunset Light. You know, I'm gonna not do that because I used to talk about people that do that. I would be like, y'all old, cause you'd be like, so let me, Sunset Light. <laughs> but anyway, it, yeah, it's Sunset Light Primer. I am using this Juvia's Place Foundation. The shade that I am using is Burkina. You guys told me in the last video that it's pronounced Burkina, Burkina, and that the other foundation is pronounced Lagos, that I said it right. Now, as I'm putting this foundation on, I will tell you guys that I did notice, and then I'm glad somebody brought it up in the comments of the last video so that I can address it because I kind of forgot to mention it. Um, this foundation is a bit messy. Like it does, I don't even want to say, and we're not doing a corrector, but I don't even want to say that it's, um, I don't want to say that it transfers because I don't use that term very loosely because every foundation transfers for me. I don't care. By the time you end up putting highlighter and powder and all the different things that we put on our face, it's definitely going to transfer. There's just no getting around it. Okay. So I just, when, when foundations have a claim to not transfer once I sweat and oil seep through like stop lying no I'm just kidding and I'm gonna be using the Sonia Kashuk uh, blender I'm not too crazy about this one as I am the gray and white one but she was available I don't want to disturb my whole little beauty blender situation I promise you when I'm looking in the monitor it's like all backwards so don't think I'm crazy but um anyway back to the foundation um I did notice that by the time I was done like putting it on and y'all I know it's weird but I do not like getting foundation all over my hands and stuff like when I'm putting on concealer and corrector and all that stuff I legit like wipe my fingers off because it's kind of gross but even as careful as I am with wiping foundation off as I apply it it was like foundation on my brushes found it was like a lot of foundation everywhere so if you are getting dressed and you have somewhere to go, make sure that you do not get foundation all over your stuff. Okay, because it does, it kind of bleeds a lot. I don't even want to say transfer, but you know how like when you wear a lipstick and then you put on a red lipstick or any lipstick for that matter, you can wear a certain lipstick and then it kind of bleeds to like the outside of your lip a little bit. I kind of feel like that same vibe. I feel like that's what happens with this foundation. Is that a deal breaker for me? No. It's not a deal breaker for me because um, number one, when I'm using foundation, like I expect it to be kind of messy. And then anyway, when I'm hugging people and stuff like that, I give them the church hug anyway when I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Now the rest of my face, because I've already done, I've showed you how I do my powder and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna do all that on camera. We're literally just gonna do this concealer and I'm gonna set it and do everything else and then I'll come with the final look. Because I got a little treat for y'all too at the end that I'm excited about. Well, 
Yeah, it's, it's just kind of cute. It's just real cutesy. So you might want to stay to the end, girlfriend. Okay. And don't be skipping and stuff. Go on through it. Watch it. Hang out with me. Kick it. Say, hey, girl. Hey, and enjoy the ride. Lay back. Kick it. Enjoy the ride. 11 is lighter than 12. So we'll go in with 12 first. But let me swatch them side by side since we got this makeup on anyway right here. Ooh. That's a lot. I just wasted a lot. I didn't know it was going to be so juicy. OMG, that is number 12. So this is number 11. So 11 is darker. All right. And 11. Wow. I think 12 would be my jam. 11 has a little more red in it. Yeah, that could even probably be somewhat of a corrector. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on under that eye with 11 because listen, it's still using their concealer and it still gives me a little bit of correcting that I like. Boom shakalaka. Expires in 24 months and um, I am Magic Concealer. Our Magic Creamy Radiant Concealer smoothens and cancels out dark circles, blemishes, and skin imperfections. Come on through here. Equivalent to 0.34 fluid ounces. So this is number 11, shade 11, 11. So I don't like to just put the product right in my lines. They really look the same. It's just a little bit of a um, more golden tone, right? So this one would be more for highlighting and that one I guess I would probably use it for correcting. Now I have a disclaimer as I'm putting this on. Okay guys, I have, I, I need you to understand that my under eyes are not your average under eyes, okay? And so it also depends on if I've been drinking a lot of water and getting rest, and I'm working on that, but I have been drinking more water. But I just want you guys to know that I have lines under my eyes. So if you see a little bit of creasing, creasing is gonna happen with me no matter what, and I don't really like to use, you know, like a primer or whatever under my eye. I haven't found like an eye primer, you know, that will kind of help with that, but I don't really use, um, I don't, and I don't like bake, although I have kind of changed up my routine a little bit. I went back to setting my under eye and I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit. I went back to setting my under eye with my beauty blender and packing the product there a little more so that it could set it a little bit. Cause I'm noticing that when I use it with the brush, the powder is not going in enough. Like it's not, it's, it's, mm -mm, I have to switch. And sometimes, you know, your face gets used to certain routines and you got to switch it up a little bit. I don't know about y'all, but that happens to me. So, and I'm, I'm just keeping it all the way real like that happens to me so I switch up my routine every now and again right so I said all that to say that when I come back tonight first of all I have church so um anything's liable to happen I could be like you know hallelujah and tears could be just the flowing and so I will disclose that at the end of this video we may have to do a take two I don't know but I think I'll take my camera with me because I am um I have an errand to run too so maybe I'll do some check-ins that way. I heard some people say it's kind of mad. I didn't see that on the um, container, but I will look it up again because I don't like anything too matte under my eye, but I don't like it like too hydrating either. I have to have like a, a fine, you know, mixture. Okay. So it's great. You know what's happening? I'm seeing, I think that this is I think that that is product that I had in my hair making it do that. Okay, so I'm going to fix that when we go to. But as we know, it has great coverage. This is what I've been doing lately because the, the under eye creasing has been crazy. But I'm telling y'all right now, I almost don't really like to do concealer videos and follow ups and stuff like that because I know that my stuff creases. And so I don't want you guys to be like, oh, that crease is real bad. Mm -mm, I ain't getting that because just it's just a matter of time when i'm going to crease so that's what i'm looking for i'm not looking if the concealer is going to crease i'm looking for how quick it's going to crease okay so that is what we're working with this is what the concealer is looking like and i'll give you some close-ups before i leave and baby it's like it's over like I think it's above the 80s on today. It's like mid 80s or something like that. So you guys get to see it in some um, like borderline summer weather. OK, I mean, CoverGirl came through with this eyeshadow. I, like, I hope that I can capture this on my little selfie cam, like for real. I'll just do like a follow up and you guys will be able to see how this eyeshadow like stood up as well or out how it withheld throughout the hours, which right now it is like 3.30 and it is hot. and. 
wait hold on because i can't see but i'm just trying to show you how the eyeshadow is looking there we are and i didn't use a corrector and to be honest um i do like using a corrector because when i use a corrector it does kind of neutralize it a little bit so then when it does start fading it doesn't look as dark i don't know if that makes sense but anyway so this is what it looks like now i assure you that with this heat and then with me going to church and all that kind of stuff it probably won't look this good later back to the video i am back and it is now um 11 50 oh y'all can't wait listen i don't know how i can girl where there's a will there's a way uno momento watch this it is now 11.53, 11.53 p.m. And, oh, you could tell. See, we had a good old time tonight. I was sweating and everything um, at church, like I told y'all. And so what I'm going to do, because, you know, this is really not a foundation review. I am going to blot this foundation. And then I'm going to show you up close, because I do want to show you how the cover girl held up. And surprisingly, girl, these eyes right here, they still banging. Now, honestly, and I'm not trying to be funny, but I did not think that the eyes were gonna hold up because I was having glitter like fall on my cheek already. And so I was like, yeah, it's not gonna really last, but them eyes are still popping. And I think I had this, I think I finished my makeup at like four or something. So yeah, it's almost midnight. Y'all, we gotta stop meeting late like this, okay? Yeah, this one does have a little bit more transferring, but Again, it's not like a deal breaker, but I don't know if it will be considered like a summer foundation. But anyway, because the time has been far spent, I'm gonna take my other camera that was running out of battery life earlier. I put another one in and we're gonna do close up really, really quickly. Here we go, hey. Okay, so I am here and I wanted to show you like, first of all, I am, or maybe not, maybe I should sit down. I don't know, but look at girl. I am all the way surprised. Look at my under eyes. Like, it's really kind of dry in there. Maybe this lighting is better, but look at my eyes. Like, I think that I'm liking it. I can't wait to try their powder, but look at how the concealer is holding up. I think if I were to correct it, it would be even better because I love corrector. Now, I don't know if you guys see it, but it's kind of like still dark looking around my mouth. I prefer correcting. This is not a foundation review, but I prefer correcting. Now, about these eyes. Wait, 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 wait. Start over. About these eyes. Cover girl. Cover girl did that. When y'all get me back at like almost midnight, I don't know what you're going to get, okay? But I am very impressed with this concealer. The fact that, I mean, it is like, it's not super wet. And let me tell you, we had a good time. I was singing. I got all the way hot. I just knew that by the time I was done, that the eyeshadow would have had it and my under eyes was going to be looking crazy. I just knew it was going to be all kind of product in there. But, um... I, listen, I may go as far to say that I like the concealer even more than I like the foundation. So that is it, you guys, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you see, like, it's the end of the day, and, like, I'm ready, I'm ready to turn this all in, okay? But you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. And I think, I don't know what else is coming. We still have to work on the lip swatch video, so I'm still getting that done, okay? But anyway, love ya. Mwah! Bye. To keep you confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.